Okay, today I'm going to go through three exercises that we give our cyclists and our triathletes who have glute medius weakness issues. Now, many of them it's because when a cyclist is on a bike, they are sitting on a seat, and that means they are stabilized on that seat. They're not weight bearing on one leg. They're pedaling through one leg at a time, but most of the weight bearing is actually sitting on the seat. So with glute medius, when you are running and you plant your leg and you're weight bearing on that leg, your glute medius helps stabilize your pelvis and keeps a level pelvis. Therefore, it also helps stabilize your knee. So with cyclists and especially triathletes who are cyclists transitioning into a run after the bike, they're getting knee pain or knee problems due to traction control. And that can usually be related back up to the hip. So we're going to go through a hip hitch exercise first where you roll a ball up and down a wall to try and teach you to go from sort of adduction to abduction and get that glute medius doing its function in a weight bearing position. And then we're going to go for more of a running specific one. So where you're doing a step down, but you're doing abduction at the same time using a band to try and generate some sort of more glute medius work during that phase of movement. And the last one to finish off is a real simple abduction exercise i like this one because it really fires up that gluteus medius muscle and you can add some load as required so these are not all the exercises we give our patients but if you are a cyclist and you're having problems when you are weight bearing then this is a pretty good place to start so number one use a ball like this this is a pilates ball you can use anything really sometimes you use a swiss ball if you want to if you've only got a big ball little ball is quite handy so for this exercise we are trying to train you to use your glute med which is on the outside of your hip to do abduction so if i'm going to train my right hip my left side is against the wall against the ball now what you want to aim for is to be as snug as you can so from that position there you're going to just try and bend your knee and hold that position all right now obviously if i keep my knees level here i know i'm leveling the pelvis all right but that's like sitting on the bike so what i want to aim for is I want you to try and challenge that position by going into, if you imagine, a deduction of the right hip. So I'm going to try and drop my left knee by rolling the ball down. And I'll feel that stretch in here. I'll feel the load start increasing here. So if my left knee is now lower than my right, I'm going to be tilted the pelvis here. So when I go into a deduction, I'm going to lift my left knee up and do that position there. And that's gonna work me on this right hand side. So I'm going from adduction of the right hip to abduction of the right hip. Now, because it's in a closed chain position, I'm teaching my brain to use that gluteus medius as a stabilizer and strengthen it up. And this is the sort of stuff you don't get when you are weight bearing on the bike. Yes, you are putting pressure through the pedal, but you're still weight bearing on the seat, okay? So you might get a little bit of glute medius activation, but not enough, and especially not enough as much as the glute max that you're doing and the hamstring work that you're doing to power the pedal. So this sort of exercise, you'll find that even the strongest cyclist will be going, God, I'm really weak on that exercise. And yes, because you don't do it enough. So that sort of movement there helps you strengthen up this, which will then mean when you are in a weight bearing position, say running, you've got better strength to control knee and sort out problems down the chain. So that's the first one I work on. And that really lights you up in there. Reps and sets, people always ask me about reps and sets. For this sort of thing, I would aim probably below 10. It's pretty fatiguing sort of thing. So go slow. It's not no point going up and down real fast and getting a million done. I would go slow with this, spend some time trying to control the movement, get as far as you can that way, and as far as you can that way. So around about eight, you'll be pretty cooked. But give it a good three sets on each side. And remember, one side's probably gonna be stronger than the other, okay? So the second one is now gonna work on holding that position when you're flexing that. Before we were doing abduction, adduction of the hip without flexion, now we're gonna do the flexion phase. So what I would do is grab a band like that, loop band, something like that, whack it around your knees and get it so above the knees. Now I like using a box because it gives something for me to sort of step off, okay? So this position here, if I'm going to train 
my right side in a closed chain position, my left side is going to be open chain. So now what I'm actually doing is working both glute meets. So if I stand on my, say, right leg, I want to have enough tension on this band to make sure that this works just as much as this one. Okay. If I don't have any tension on the band, I'm not going to get much work done. Plus, if I'm down in here, I'm in a deduction, not a abduction. I necessarily wouldn't be so far like this. There's no point doing that. Just try and be separated. You might have put a bit of pressure on the wall to balance, but just separate enough like that to hold it out. Even that holding, I can feel it more on my right than my left because I'm weight bearing on that right. So imagine my right glue mead is doing two jobs, okay? It's abducting and it's stabilizing, whereas this one's just abducting. Does that make sense? So from this point here, I want to go into flexion of the hip, okay? And then back up to starting point again, all right? So I'm going to bend my knees and bend my hips at the same time, all right? The trick is, don't let your, if I'm standing on my right, don't let your left one, when you bend, drop down. Can you see that? If I do that, I'm still feeling it here, but I'm not teaching my body to stabilize. So when you do this exercise, don't be lazy. Don't let this leg drop down lower than the other leg. They've got to stay level. If you keep the two knees level, you'll keep your pelvis level, meaning you're going to keep the function. All right? So before you think about the cyclist was on a seat, he was stable, okay, when you get your seat height right and everything, bike fit right, you are level, you've got to now, you don't have a seat, so you have to have the muscles to stabilize you now, okay, so you've got to make sure that you are thinking, pretend you're on a seat and keep your pelvis level, okay, the idea is keeping the knees level, that will keep the pelvis level, and if you keep a tension on with the band, you will work both Obviously, this one more than that one, all right? This is a really good exercise, especially for those cyclists who are transitioning into running or they're just a triathlete. And then go on to the other side to see the difference, all right? So if I'm going to go on my left one, I push out with my right. I've got to try and balance there. Keep my two knees level. Go into my squat. Come out of my squat, okay? And feel the difference between the two there really good exercise to work on. So your last one is isolating that gluteus medius into abduction. Now, you can do that in standing, but I like doing it in lying down, especially for those people and patients of ours who are quite weak, all right? If they've got a weak gluteus medius and they struggle to activate it, this is a really good one to do. Raise that up to about there, okay? It's not very high and then down again. If you go too high, depending on the flexibility, you'll start curving at the pelvis here, okay, and then trying to do a sort of a bit of a side crunch. So this is not allowed to move. You keep this still, and it's just hip abduction. If you're a cyclist, or you're a triathlete, or you're, you're going from cycling to running, and you're getting a few problems down the chain, you know your glute meter's weak, give these three a shot. See you next time.